Dear Martin. All right, mate. How's it going? I've had bags of time on my hands recently. And with the World Cup next year, I've been sitting back and taking some of that time to reflect on the people who have had an impact and have influenced me to become the player I am today. I remember that first session he came in as the coach and he took over and he sat everyone down and kind of said, we want players getting selected to represent England and Scotland and Ireland and, and we want to change what we're about. He takes his army background and puts that into his rugby, you know, he's obviously well disciplined, well oiled and made him captain, give him a little bit of responsibility and I think that, you know, give him a real purpose within the team to obviously kick on and move forward. It took me back to when I was in the military and how important those things were and then it, it got that back out of me again, maybe those things I'd I'd left behind thinking I didn't need them as much anymore and Martin managed to find that in me and, and, and bring it back out and I think it's easy in sport to lose track of coaches and things when they move on and I don't want to do that this time. I was a soldier for 10 years and now I'm a rugby player so writing down this kind of stuff doesn't come naturally. We started down the road, we had some lows but massive highs. Those standards you set for the team and set for me never let me slacken off and accept anything less than giving my all. You helped push me to become the player I could be. I was selected to represent England the following year. That was a massive honour. It was a moment that wouldn't have been possible without you there, getting that potential out of me and most importantly instilling that belief in myself and my abilities. I still play by those high standards you set and I aim to carry on your legacy by instilling them into the new players coming through to get the best out of them in the same way you got the best out of me and the other players in that squad. Take it easy, mate. Simo. To be able to have an influence on somebody's life and to still be remembered three, four years on after last working with them, it's, you know, it's quite overwhelming, to be honest.